This is decent, patient play, though, from the Seagulls. It's just about finding that effort at goal eventually. Turning out here is Teddy Jenks. Back to Tanimoo. Oh, that's a nice flick inside there from Leonard. Now Izquierdo, left edge of the area, up against Barnes. Not the first time we've said that hit, and the strike comes in. And there is the opener from Jensen Weir, just side foots it in to the bottom right corner to give the Albion the lead. Never a good time to concede, but a great time to score. So that's something for the Albion to build on in the second half. And it'll be interesting to see how the visitors respond to that. Really good move. Jose Schiedo involved down the left side with the ball in. Perfectly placed by Jensen Weir. Well, the Blackburn bench are not happy with that one. Maybe out of control from Ed Turns, and the red card is out. It's a straight red card. Hard to tell if both feet were off the floor, but he has been given his marching orders, and, well, Turns protests his innocence. Out it goes to Durrant. First time from Chapman towards the back post, away from Weir. Flying in there was Horlock, and the child, great save from Cole Rushworth to deny Horlock. All of the Blackburn players, except Eastham, in the Brighton half. And you think that will be a familiar tale throughout the rest of this one. That's a miscue clearance from Leonard, and scrambling back was Rushworth. Well, it's a good job Rushworth was switched on, because that was a completely miscued clearance from Mark Leonard. Oh, the Blackburn defence just slip up. Here's Cashman. Well, from out of absolutely nowhere, Cashman had a chance to add to his tally for the season. Jenks hits the flank. Here's Bukoje. He's only really got to beat Barnes. Tries to find the ball to Cashman. Wasn't too far wide of him. But it's given away now. Strike comes in. Has that crossed the line? It was spawned with the effort. Thunder a strike. Hits the underside of the bar. And then spins away. Cross comes in, trying to find the substitute McBride. And a penalty to the visitors. Well, all the Brighton players perplexed. It's Sam Packham who's been booked. Not sure if there was a challenge that came in on McBride or if it struck Samuel Packham's arm. But either way, a chance for Blackburn Rovers to level it up. McBride, though, coolly slots it in to the bottom right corner. Rushworth, out towards Packham, who just needs to take a breath, dust himself down. It's loose again this time from Weir. Burns leaves it for Horlock, and then cleared off the line by Weir. Well, it's relentless from Blackburn now. Really feeling the effects now, Stefan Vukoje. An excellent performance from him. But here's Whitehall trying to spread it inside to Durrant. Absolute heartbreak for the Seagulls. With a little under a minute and a half of added time to go, Blackburn take the lead. They've been knocking on the door. Brighton bravely defended. Brighton won, Blackburn two.